Welcome here today everyone to another epic and amazing video. Now this video, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, is a, wait for it, $10,000 PC build. Yes, you heard that right, 10,000, that is a one followed by four zeros PC build slash unboxing, because we're going to be unboxing all the stuff in the beginning here. It's like therapeutic, man, it gets, it gets the juices flowing in here, it gets y'all going, man. Some weird stuff may go on, I don't know, it'll be fun. And just remember, what happens in an unboxing video? stays in an unboxing video. Now, after doing all the unboxing of all this crap right here, which is the uh, thing, 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 I actually don't know. The only one I know about is this one. I think this one might be the RAM. I honestly have no idea. I sort of just ordered them and they kind of arrived over time. I opened up this one and then my dad was like, you stupid kid, you should do this in a video. And I was like, dad, you're a genius. But after doing the unboxing of all this parts, which contains the CPU, the motherboard, the cooling unit, the power supply unit, the case, and the GPU unit, all top of the line, top tier quality, best parts that you can get right now. And as I say in the title and the thumbnail, it is a $10,000 PC build. However, this stuff right here, which is practically the entire PC build by itself, apart from the hard drives, the DVD drives, and the software that you may need on it, only cost me $2,800. However, my entire PC setup in and of itself, including the capture cards, the hard drives, the softwares, the cameras, I got two cameras, the microphone, the lights, the monitors, all that stuff, ranges over $10,000. Actually, in total, it's $12,893 spent on it. So, keep that in mind if you wanna get an epic setup like I'm gonna have, except for I got three non-matching monitors that I've collected over the years. Now before getting into the unboxing, this is my old PC setup right here that you guys can see. It's got yourself the GPU, the two capture cards, the CPU, the motherboard, the power supply unit, the DVD drive, the solid state drive, and the hard drive down there. Now this bad boy, I ain't gonna give it away. No, this is gonna become my backup PC because I actually don't have a backup PC right now. And you know, if like uh, the PC breaks and I don't have a backup, that's like five days at least with a ton of money spent to try and get parts here quickly. So yeah, this is going to become a backup PC. I'm going to take out the two capture cards, the solid state drive, the hard drive, and the DVD drive and put it into this bad boy right. I, I, I don't even know how to point at it because it's like all these into this bad boy right here. But without further ado, let's just get into this unboxing here. Now, I've never done an unboxing style video before. I have no idea what to expect, you know. I open up some presents during Christmas time, birthday, and all that stuff. But come on, let's, let's be real here. That ain't nothing compared to what we're going to do here. So, let's start with the box that we already opened up and know what's inside. This bad boy right here from the Amazon Prime. Let's take out our knife here without cutting my throat and uh, my eye socket. I would hate to cut my eye socket open. Let's slice the box open. Ooh, ooh, listen to that. Mm. Oh, wow, that's beautiful noise right there. Open it up. Oh, yeah. Feel that. Oh, that new unboxing smell. It smells so good. Why does it smell so good? Also, before opening up this box, it is the Halloween days right now, so happy Halloween. I, 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 I stuffed my face full of candy right here. We got Sour Patch Kids, we got Sweetest Fish. Hopefully you guys got a ton of candy on your Halloween adventures too. If not, you guys should totally go out, buy some candy, and treat yourself to some good Halloween stuff. It's freaking good. I love nerds, because I'm a nerd too. And so there are trigger treaters coming to the door right now for that sweet, sweet candy kush stuff that we love to eat. Now, this is the first item here from the Amazon box. I'm going to tell it for you guys so you guys can see it because I don't know. Honestly, I've never seen one of these videos. I just heard that people like them, so we're going to go for it right here. Look at that. It's a beautiful Ryzen Threadripper from AMZ. Look at that. I'm probably pronouncing these words 100% wrong. Threadripper 1950X. It has 16 cores and 32 threads. Freaking nuts. The last CPU that I had in here had four cores and four threads. It was an i5 from the Skylake generation. This bad boy is a beast. So that's the first piece down. We're gonna set it right here. Now moving on to the next one here. We have ourselves a fluffy package that may contain, I think it's the RAM. Honestly, I think it's the RAM. So let's, how am I gonna open this? I can't like really use a knife on it. I guess we just rip it open. Yep, yep, it looks like it's the RAM. So if you guys can see inside the package right here, because this is how unboxings go, I guess. We're gonna slowly pull it out so you guys can witness it for yourselves. Flap that down. I think there's nothing left in it. Shove it off the table, because that's cool. It has some bubble wrap around it, which we can... Ah, oh, unboxings. Open it up slowly. And what do we have here? We have ourselves 
Rip Jaws 5 RAM. It's 3200 DDR4 RAM. It is a huge upgrade compared to the 2400 DDR4 RAM that I had in my last PC. So that's a huge upgrade right there. Again, two massive freaking upgrades in a row. It's also 16 gigabytes total of RAM, which is the same I had in the last one. So that's not a huge upgrade in the uh, size of it, but the speed of it is an insanely large upgrade. Now, moving on to the next box here, we have ourselves one box. That I believe I think I know what this is and oh my god this thing is a beauty this thing is pure power now this is Probably one of the best parts in the actually no this is the best part in the machine right there the Ryzen Threadripper So let's slowly slice open this bad boy make sure not to ruin any of the merchandise inside Look at the size of this box too if you guys didn't know I approximately have like a 50 foot chest wide span right here with my massive pecs and my muscles and all that good stuff We have ourselves this list which hopefully you guys can see the address of my home on that list it's kind of weird that they put that on there, and we slowly open this up right here. It has green bubble wrap packagings. I don't know what to call these. They're like sacks of air? I guess call them sacks of air. Whee! Sacks of air! Yay! Unboxing. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh. Mm. Oh, that new box smell. Oh, if you guys were only here smelling it, I think you guys would have some serious therapy going on right here. Oh, this is a pure beauty. You guys are gonna look at what I'm looking at right now. This is the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. An absolute beast. The top of the line graphics card out there right now. I can already smell the power, man. It smells like pure protein powder given like muscle man, his muscle milk or something. I don't know, it's just, it gets you fueled up, man. Oh. Uh. Now remember, what happens in an unboxing video stays in an unboxing video. So this is our graphics unit in our new computer. It is the, as I said, GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, 11 gigabytes of GPU power. And it's got a bunch of other features in it, like um, NVIDIA Ancel, uh, NVIDIA, or NVIDIA, I think I always say it wrong. It's not NVIDIA, it's NVIDIA. It's even VR ready. Oh my god, my last one wasn't VR ready. I couldn't do VR if I wanted to, but now, I can, because that's the cool new thing, I guess. I don't know. I think it kind of sucks, personally. But yes, that is the GTX 1080 right there. Oh, actually, I think we have to like open these up officially now, because it is an unboxing video, so you can see what the actual graphics card looks like. So let's take off the plastic wrap there. This is the nice cardboard box. This smells fantastic. And if we slowly open it up here. Oh, oh, that's fancy. Oh, dang. So it has another cardboard box inside the cardboard box. Cardboard box section. This is nice. Just oh, oh, that slides right out, dude. Oh, that's money. Ooh, it's even got a little protective foam layer on top. Mmm, an MSI pamphlet thingy that I think may have a DVD to teach you how to use your graphics card in it. And oh, baby, this thing's huge. And that's not what she said. Except unless it was to me. Ah, oh, you guys probably can't see it because it's inside the cellophane wrapping. I think that's what it's called right here. But let's pull it out because we are going to be building the PC here very soon. Let's pull it out and check it out. I also haven't even opened up the Ryzen. We'll do that in a second here. But oh, Woo! baby. Oh, thick with two C's. Dang, son. That is a beauty right there. A pure beauty. Look at it. It's got not one fan but two fans in it. It's got red and black with carbon fiber looking texture in it. A little dragon on the fan itself too. Massive freaking radiators right there. Several ports coming out of it. SLI capability, man. Oh, mm, this is making me salivate. We got to put it back in this box right here. Oh, oh. And so putting it back in the box so I can set it up here on the table until we actually build our PC. We are going to pull out the CPU itself, the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950. X, because it's, I guess, I don't, I don't even know what it looks like, honestly. I have no clue what it looks like. So this thing right here, it has itself a little bit of a tab that we must pull and rip open, I guess. I don't know. And it's full. It's like foam. It's really weird. It's light. It's super light. I know I'm chucking an $800, $900 CPU, but it's light, dude. That is actually really light. And it comes in this foam case that I believe... Is this the CPU right here? This entire thing is the CPU? That is crazy. I don't think so. No, I think it's inside of it. So it comes with a little bit of a screwdriver set with a hexadecimal head on it in order to put it on along with the mounting bracket if you do need to. So it comes with the tools ready to actually mount it onto your motherboard. And now the chip itself. Holy crap. That's what it looks like. It's literally just a circular silver plate. Look at that. It says AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X on it. Woo! 
this thing that's thin damn that's that i thought that was gonna be a lot thicker it's big but it's thin dude okay the last one i got guys it was like a chip this big right this one is like it can fit three or four of the last chips i had on it that is nuts this computer oh my god i can't freaking wait to test out minecraft on it ah! And putting it back in this box there until later there is the CPU itself now the RAM I don't think you guys really care you guys can see it right there I can pull it out of the box It's literally like two little sticks that you shove into the motherboard quite easily. Um, they do look pretty good. Honestly they're, they're solid metal solid titanium a ripped jaw again like I said, but I mean let's be real No one's here to look at RAM. No everyone wants to see the beautiful case right here this freaking massive box because I mean just imagine the adrenaline that's gonna flow when you open that thing up. It's gonna be insane. However, before we get into that, we have one more box here. Wow, this is a big box. I wonder what's gonna be inside of it. We gotta cut it open here first. Actually, we should probably lay this down on the table. Whoa. Oh, I almost just stabbed myself. That would've been bad. All right, cutting it open from this side first towards you guys. Totally not gonna slice off my thumb right now. Not like I did back in uh, the early days of college when I was playing uh, Hurry, curry with my hand and my knife. Actually, I was just cutting beeswax and I actually chopped off the tip of my finger. Ah, wow, what a freaking great video. If you guys are enjoying this video right here, oh, this incredible unboxing, make sure to smash that thumbs up button down below and share it with all your friends about the $10,000 PC that a YouTuber that has no life built. It's freaking insane, dude. Hopefully I don't stab my arm right now. Or my, or my face. Okay, we're good. Woo! All right, so in this box, we have ourselves more air sacs the first one is the evga supernova 750 power supply unit and then the next one right here is the nzxt kraken x62 liquid cooling unit the final one inside this box if i pull it out and chuck the box over there i almost just knocked my second camera off the bed that would have been bad is the msi x399 gaming pro carbon ac motherboard and absolutely Incredible motherboard here. It's got LEDs on it. It's got carbon fiber on it, and it's got eight total RAM slots Oh my god, it's also SLI capability and all the other yada 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 that everyone knows and it has lightning fast It's got like crap in it, you know literally like they took a monkey and they went and squeezed out some crap out of the monkey on it But you know, it's it's just a box. So let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like inside What do we have? We have a tab over here. Ooh. Oh, a tab, dude. Oh, what a fancy tab. Oh Ooh, listen to that crack when it opened up. Oh, it actually does have a smell. Like the other ones I was just joking about the smell. They didn't smell, but this one, this one actually does have a smell. It's kind of like rubbery. It has the uh, cellophane wrapper or whatever it's called. What is it? Recyclable, reusable, conductive grid bad, static sensitive device. All right, let me rub my feet on the floor with socks on and then let's uh, touch this motherboard right here. Now this motherboard right here will specifically only fit the Threadripper CPU. So it doesn't fit any other CPU. So I had to get a specific motherboard just for this and oh baby. This thing looks nice. Look at that. It's got eight RAM slots on it. It's got the CPU slot on it. It's got multiple PCIe slots, including slots for the graphics unit and my capture cards, along with lots of other stuff. And oh my God, look at the back right there. What? It's got, how many is that? That's 10 USB slots? Who the hell in the right mind needs 10 USB slots? I mean, that kind of do. I got like, what? I got one, nine. I got nine things. So yeah, actually 10, it's pretty good and I wouldn't have to unplug stuff. But that is what the motherboard looks like right there, an absolutely beautiful specimen. The backside right here looks like the back of a motherboard, honestly, it's pretty standard. Box it back up so we can build the PC later. Prop this up over here in front of this, which is the next item up on our list, the EVGA 750G3 power supply unit. Now this is the same power supply unit, but the newest generation of the one that I currently have, so it's not that big of a deal, honestly. The only reason I got the upgraded one is because I had to for the uh, new motherboard because it requires two power supply unit plugins into it. So I had to get the new one in order to actually fit the new computer build. So yeah, that was an extra like 80 bucks that I spent on this thing. I mean, they're not that expensive, honestly. Power supply units are not that bad. Actually, no, it was like 120. So still not that bad compared to like $800, $900, $500, $200. Yeah, so. Power supply units are pretty much the cheapest thing, one of the cheapest things inside there. And then it has itself a little bit of a tape on the top that we must peel off in order to actually access the tab that we have to pull out in order to open up the actual box itself. Ooh, ooh, that pop, that mmm, that slide. Woo! Open it up towards you. Oh, that would have been bad. Open it up towards you guys. Oh, oh, baby. Mmm. It comes with its own baggie, dude. What? A million different cables? Look at all these. It has like 
literally a crap ton of different cables because it is a modular power supply unit, which means that you can plug in a bunch of different things to plug into like certain components on your PC if you need to. And I think this might be the power supply unit itself right here. It comes in a little baggie with some foam on it too. Just standard things that you would get with a power supply unit. A little bit of a thing you have to open up and there it is, the power supply unit that will go into the PC. And again, like I said, has a modular back right there with motherboard, CPU1, CPU2, three SATAs, three VGA, four VGAs actually, and a Perif1. What the hell is a Perif, dude? Is that like a pair and a sheriff combined? Blah, that'd be disgusting. Anyways, that is the power supply unit right there. So let's put it away because we have two more things to fully unbox on our list right here. And then we got to get into the actual building of the PC. I don't even know how long this has been going on, honestly. This is a lot of stuff to unbox. This is the ultimate unboxing therapy video. You can watch this multiple times and get multiple satisfactions out of the unboxing of the unboxings -ness. All right, so let's put that over there. Next up on the list is the NZXT Kraken X62 CPU liquid cooling unit. And again, ah, damn it. And again, it has plastic wrap on it. That freaking hurt. Luckily, it wasn't the sharp side. It was just the blunt back side, but it stabbed in the tip on it. Ah, mm, it's starting to bleed a little bit. Dang it, dude. Don't want to get blood on my white shirt. That would suck. So it has the plastic wrap on it. Let's just rip that off. Who cares about a bloody finger, right? Am I right? Am I right? It's all about the unboxing therapy. Oh. Oh. Oh, spectacular, my dude. Uh, it has itself a little bit of a tab on the back side right there that you can pull and then lift it up. And as it seems to be, Everything folds back, pushes to the side, tabs open up on the sides, then you lay it down with the manual right here and pull out the egg carton looking tray thing if you can freaking get your hand on it. <laughs> there we go. So that is the liquid cooling unit right there. This, this, is, this, this is it right here. You just shove this into your PC and you're good to go. Not really. Okay. It has two fans right here, two dual fans. The fans are pretty standard fans. They mount on the CPU going to the outside, bringing air in or pushing air out, depending on which way you face them. And it comes with two of them, along with mounting brackets that you will need for all your CPUs. And the actual radiator itself. This is what actually cools everything and gets all the liquid cooled inside of it, too. And then this has a bunch of freaking long cords going to the actual liquid CPU cooling unit, which seems to have a little plug on it too. Connect all cables before turning on. Well, no duh, Sherlock. So yeah, it has a little copper and a nickel plate on the top. I believe it's copper and nickel. I'm not 100% certain on that one. Put it on top of the CPU and then bolt it down and you're pretty much good to go, honestly. That's how you uh, cool a CPU. Now moving on to the final opening here before we actually get into the time-lapse PC build, we have ourselves. This big bad boy, oh my god, that fell over hardcore right there, which we have to keep our, look, our thumb's actually bleeding a little bit on it. It's got a little bit of blood dripping down. I keep licking it. We got to cut this open right here and take out the case of the PC itself. Now, this case, it's a pretty cool looking case, honestly. It's not like a spectacular multiple LED flashy lights, all that stuff, because I don't really care about that for the PC, because it's going to be under the desk. You don't really see it. It's not really a big necessito thing on a PC build. However, I do like having some cool looking PCs just in case someone's like, oh, bro, that's a lit looking PC. You're like, oh, yeah, dude, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, my God. Bruh. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. I tipped it the wrong way. Crap. It is the NZXT S340 mid tower. Pretty bulky build, honestly. With a freaking giant box. Ship it. Don't knock the camera over, it's literally like leaning up against this. Yeah, this is the computer case itself right here. You can see the inside of the case kind of with the glare of the light right there in the front, and then you also have the back side of it. But, you know, it is an unboxing video, so let's unbox this bad boy and see what it actually looks like inside, because you never know. It could look quite a bit different. Like, they could have sent me an aqua blue with puke red or something. I don't know. I would be pretty upset about that. And so here we go, tipping it over and pulling out the case itself with a bunch of styrofoam on it. This is gonna be special. I think the styrofoam might break a little bit on us. This thing is heavy to pull out. And so here we go, pulling out the box. The case is coming out here. Don't fall over, and we are good. And so here it is, the actual desktop case itself. Very, very sleek, very, very nice case. I got so much crap on the floor right now, I don't even know how unboxing videos do it. It has itself some fans, a nice viewing window right here that does have cellophane wrap on it. Wish this wrap, if you don't know, you can just rip off like that. Has itself a case fan on the top, uh, a case fan on the back side, and an opening on the front for the CPU cooling unit, like I said. I believe it mounts right there. It also has itself some racks underneath for the power supply unit, and I believe all the storage goes down here into the bottom too. Now, this thing does have itself a button on top along with some USB and auxiliary cord locations. 
some rubber stops on the bottom, and some backside slots for your graphics cards and your capture cards too. But that's gonna be it for the unboxing portion of this video. Now let's get into the actual building of the PC because this took a long freaking time to actually just unbox stuff. I don't know how people do this, honestly. This is actually really tiring, but let's get into the build of it so I can actually get this thing freaking set up and use it. It's gonna be a pure awesome beast. Like I said, it's got this bad boy in it, this bad boy in it. All the details to all these parts will be in the description box down below if you guys wanna get some of these parts for your own PC build. And now remember, if you get a Threadripper, you're gonna have to get a new motherboard for it just to fit the Threadripper. But enough talk, let's just build this, dude. I wanna get this thing up and running and good and be like, dang, I can play Minecraft at 5,000 frames per second, dude, that's crazy.
So that's gonna do it here for this video. This PC setup is freaking insane. I'm recording the audio on it right now, and oh my god, some epic freaking content coming soon with it. It's incredible. However, my entire setup is still kind of all over the place from moving the camera, the lights, all the boxes all over, and all that crazy stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button down below if you're new, subscribe. Hope y'all have a great day and peace out.